Liverpool trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? Blow winds! Fill my sails! Carry us across seas and fjords! We're a long way from home, Norseman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you, make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend. We'll need to repair weapons and shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense. Blackbjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. Bring planks. We'll face teeth jarring storms. The ship will cry for repairs. to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. We're ready to launch out on the roiling sea. Summon Scott, Canute, and the rest of the crew. Blow your horn! Blow that damn horn! He'd still be alive. The crew fought like heroes. No Saxons survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn Scott, they were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you lit their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. Oh, my God. 
in the business of helping you. Dear man, would you live under Edwin's boot? For that is where you will be if these supplies... There's Fulke. I'd give them over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. You need only give me time. I might go to my word. It's a crying shame, your story. But a few supplies ain't gonna rewrite the history. Good friend, your wares will bring death to the farmers and merchants of this land. Could you live with such a burden? None of my concern. Not an until there's a sword in axes till they've martyred him. It was all a game to them. We need. It's for the good of your shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, Wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red. The sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes. Loki yawls. Poison drips from the mouth. 
Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. I should not be seen in this area. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. <laughs> Prepare yourself! The soldiers are close! That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike.
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! See that Those castle walls won't be thick enough to stop us! Long live Giedrich! None will stop us! The last man in the door said... Oh, wait, was it a door?
Show me. To each their own, they say. It's gold droppings, I find. above will we never be ready Giedrich Avo have you dealt each with a few bruising blows I have she'll feel the pain soon enough excellent my men are itching to attack the fortress but we'd be fools to force it now why is that on account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. 